This could be a big night in Carson City if the state assembly votes to fund an NFL stadium for Las Vegas. 13 Action News reporter Brian Callahan joins us live from the special session with the very latest right now. Brian. Yeah, some of members have been taking public comment for about 30 minutes, but the group of people waiting to weigh in is much smaller than it was earlier. This is the initial hearing on the plan for the stadium and convention center expansion. Went on for around seven hours. Around one this afternoon, the room at the Grant Sawyer building down in Las Vegas was packed with people hoping to weigh in through public comment, but tonight it's a lot smaller. Initially, some members were expecting to take three hours of public comment, but it could be a lot shorter with this smaller group at this point. Stadium proponents are still hoping to get a vote tonight, but as we're back out here, they want to make sure they have the 28 votes necessary to pass the bill before taking it to a vote. Reporting live in Carson City, Brian Callahan, 13 Action News. Thank you, Brian. Keep us posted on what's happening up there. The More Cops tax has now been approved by both the Nevada Senate and State Assembly. It now heads to Governor Sandoval's desk. The bill allows Clark County commissioners to raise the sales tax by one tenth of a percent to put more police officers on the streets. Mm. Sheriff Joe Lombardo says this measure is even more critical after four million dollars earmarked for Metro was removed from the stadium deal. It seemed like it was overwhelming for the taxpayers and I understand that. Um, so it's even more important that this passes in order to breed that success that we're looking for. The extra money would specifically add 66 officers to the Las Vegas Strip and more than 300 countywide.